All right, I'm here with Ben Wilmore, who's going to talk to us about his classes at the upcoming Photoshop Virtual Summit 4. Thanks for joining me, Ben. Yeah, good to see you. So uh, your first class, the one that's scheduled on the first day, is Light into Shadow. So tell us a little bit about what that class is all about. Well, I travel a lot where, in fact, I used to teach on a cruise ship, and it would make it so I would show up at a location, and you couldn't pick the time of day. And so you show up at a monument or whatever it is you want to photograph. And what do you know, but the sun is more ideally lighting something else other than your subject. And if you just capture an image and your subject is in the shade in other areas of the scene are sunlit, well, your subject's going to look dull. So this session is about uh, lighting up the shady areas, adding contrast and making them pop so that they look just as good as the sunlit areas within a scene. Nice. So what, uh, what kind of, without giving too much away, what kind of techniques are we talking about here? Well, I start off with a Adobe Camera Raw because you don't always need to send an image all the way into Photoshop. And there, within Camera Raw, there are particular adjustment sliders that work better for shady areas of an image than others. And some of them though, like lowering contrast, for instance, makes your image look dull. So oftentimes you have to compensate by increasing another one, such as clarity. Uh, and so I go through all of that when it comes to uh, Camera Raw. And then I end up getting into Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I end up taking uh, like a building where one side of it has the sun hitting it, looks great there, but the entire front of the building is in shade. And I try to make it look so that the front of the building looks just as good as the side and then blend the two together so that it looks appropriate. And nice. uh, it's, it's something where when I look back at my archives of images, uh, it's, I would say, the biggest thing that I'd like to go back and fix in a lot of my right. shots. Yeah. I, I was just going to say, I'm sure most people will not have a problem finding images to apply these techniques to. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, anytime you shoot uh, with any subject in the shade, these techniques will help you and make your images look dramatically better. Yeah. Great. Now, I'm also really curious to find out. I mean, I've read the description, but I'm interested to hear you talk about your other class Hmm. about luminosity masking because that's a topic you know it's been around for a while a lot of people are like oh yeah i've played with it but yours is called luminosity masking 3.0 which implies <laughs> this is something different so tell us about it yeah i remember when i was uh, teaching a luminosity masking class uh before and some people in like the chat on the side were asking is this going to be version 2.0 and i was like <laughs> you know kind of funny and um what I found is a lot of people try to sell you actions, although some will give them away for free. And in that, those actions would end up isolating either the bright portion of your picture or the dark portion of your picture. And the first generation of those actions uh, had a, a thing that wouldn't give you as high quality as Photoshop was capable of. And you had to switch to something else. It has to do with going from eight bits, which, uh, is 256 brightness levels to 16 bits, which is thousands. And when they made that transition in these actions, they called it version 2.0. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm taking it beyond that by completely replacing the standard techniques, which are combining uh, channels and where you take one channel and you say, I'm going to add itself to that to further isolate things. And I find that it's just using presets, uh, all the techniques that I see out there. And the presets give you generic results. And so in my class, I try to show you how to truly get control over luminosity mask. And I do that using my favorite tool, which is curves. And that's because you can reproduce exactly the techniques that you see demonstrated on YouTube and through actions uh, using curves. And when you do, you can get um, a lot more control over the result. And it's the difference between using a generic preset where you click it and forget it uh, versus really being able to craft and fine tune your image. And uh, it's something I haven't seen other people using before. So I named it Luminosity Masking <laughs> 3.0. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. But I now, don't just do that. I also go through uh, more traditional uh, methods and also features that are designed to do this without uh, having to get into the channels panel. 
So it's a wide range. Okay. Now, would you say this is a class that is aimed at people who have a bit more experience with Photoshop, perhaps? I would say the first part of the class would be fine for anyone. And the last third of the class would be for more advanced. And so I would say it progresses. It's, it's good for everyone. It's just that uh, those that are overly versed, you could skip the first 10 minutes. And those right. that are overly beginner, you could skip the last 15. <laughs> and therefore, right. everyone should be satisfied. And uh, also, I think I told you I recorded a little bonus related to it. Yeah, uh, so VIP members can have a bit more information. Yeah, that's the thing. Always, when I speak at conferences, you always have a limited, limited amount of time. And so it makes you have to really focus on the core concepts. But uh, for those that buy a VIP pass, I created a bonus video. It's 25 minutes long and it gets into a bunch of tips and tricks. And also those that become VIP members get a set of actions and um, also a set of curves presets. I show you how to install those and everything as well in that video. Yeah. Nice. And one of the things that, that uh, actually I was talking with another instructor the other day about one of the benefits of the VIP pass is that when we say something is a little more advanced, it might be for you today, but that's the whole idea of the VIP pass is you have lifetime access. So maybe a year from now, you'll be like, okay, now I'm ready to watch the rest of this class or this other class because, you know, I've had more time to spend on the basics and I'm ready to move ahead. So. Well, and also with my classes, there is an in-depth handbook, a PDF of each, and it's, uh, they're quite long and, and detailed. And so that's one thing you watch a video and it's not always the best experience to have to watch an entire video again to remember how to reproduce it compared right. to scanning a PDF yep. or printing it out and, you know, highlighting it as you go. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Well, I'm uh, like many people, I'm sure will be definitely looking forward to both your classes as always. Thanks for yeah. jumping on here to, to tell us about your classes. Appreciate it. And thanks for having me at the Photoshop Virtual Summit. I always look forward right. to it. Sounds good. Thanks, Ben. All right. See you later.